Hi, welcome you all. In this video, we are going to talk about set load fields method. Before we proceed, I would like to tell you that this is my GitHub page and here I'll be uploading all the programs which I'm explaining in the video. So you can use it for your reference and please start this page. And the next one is this is my blog here. I will be uploading all the instructions detail in a detailed manner so you can if you click on any one uh, blog and if you really feel that blog is very helpful to you so you can just follow my blog by clicking here and uh, this is my um, youtube channel so you can see here that i'll be uploading all the videos here uh, in a proper um, uh, you can see all the videos here and if you really like that this video that particular video any video which really helped you a lot to learn something and if you want to thank me if you want to show your support so you can click here thanks so this method will set the fields to be initially loaded when the record is retrieved from its data source okay this basically we will be using this method to speed up the performance fine so if we call the set load fields on a record without passing any fields into it then what will happen this will reset the field selected to load to the default where all readable normal fields are selected for the load so it is always advisable to select which one we are going to load it initially okay it is not necessary to include the following fields because they are always selected for loading so what are the fields which we don't want to do is what the primary key fields okay so if it is a primary key field so don't uh, try to use it along with the set load field and the second one is what are the uh, system id okay and data audit fields system id and data audit fields you don't want to set load in and data audit fields fine and because you know data audit fields are the system created at system created um, uh, by system modified by system modified at these are all some data audit fields which these three types of fields are already you know it doesn't needs to make it as a set load fields okay so depending on the runtime version the runtime may require extra fields to be selected for loading so that is why we are just going with the set load function okay here i have created an example already so here you can see that this is a page extension so this is the page extension you can see it here in the page extension what i have did is what i have uh, extended the item list okay and uh, in the variable uh, i have created the variable three variables first variable is what the item variable where it holds the item data that is a complete records and total which holds the decimal and cnt is a counter which, which is an integer so what i'm going to do it here as well i have used the set load fields okay the set load fields method to speed up the calculation for the unit cost okay this will speed up the calculation of unit cost so this is what i have done here so what happens uh, here uh, what is happening is what I have used the set load item is the uh, variable which is holding the complete table records dot set load fields and I have told like I have to load the unit cost okay if item find set if that item is found then what it has to do it has to uh, add the unit cost to the total okay and the counter that is a counter will begin that is cnt this will just execute until it finds the last unit cost it will be executed and it will total the value here okay and finally what happens until it finds the the last record then finally what happens the total will be divided by the um, cnt okay so here here i have loaded the unit cost okay so this is just to speed up the performance of the uh, of this uh, unit cost which i have taken from the item table so instead of loading all the fields only the uh, unit cost will be loaded this will find the mean of the unit cost okay in order to find the mean of unit cost i have used this particular logic here so what happens if i execute this code let me execute it
so i have written in the on open page okay so this is a trigger on open page trigger so what it will do is it what it will uh, load the unit cost it will calculate this and it will show it to me okay see here you can see that it calculates the total uh, uh, that is the mean of unit cost and it show it to me so this is what on open page itself if you wanted to increase the performance and if you wanted to see something uh, uh, so you can write it in the set load fields okay and you can do this process so uh, this is a simple program which i have explained i can share this i'll be uploading this in the uh, github page you can you can see that so i have already discussed about all these things like record what is a find what is uh, the repeat and until so please go and check the previous videos for extra understanding of this particular program so thank you take care